Welcome to the NBA desktop, everyone. Earlier this week, Eagles receiver Deshaun Jackson posted anti-Semitic quotes that he attributed to Hitler that Hitler did not actually say. Why am I bringing this up? This being NBA desktop. Because a few days later, Steven Jackson was like, yeah. And then he tripled down on it through his Instagram live account. And I would just say this. Much like I, as a person who care about uh, civil rights and issues of that nature, am constantly trying to inform myself via people whose lived experiences put them in the crosshairs of bigotry. There are many forms of bigotry and very few people, if any, are experts in all of them. And they all have various reasons for existing and causes and effects and particular ideologies. And just because you can be an expert in one, anti-black racism in America, because of your lived experience, doesn't mean that you can transfer that knowledge to something like anti-Semitism. Don't do this. Without any further ado, this is a game I like to call Um, the answer is never. Anyway, si se puede make a statement. The National Basketball Players Association and the NBA reached an agreement Friday on social justice messages that can be displayed above the numbers on the backs of jerseys when the league resumes play July 30th. Now, if you were concerned that corporate interests might take some of the edge off some of these social justice expressions, your concerns have been borne out. Let's go through them. Black Lives Matter, good. Say their names. I can't breathe, good. See us, hear us. Why not all the senses? Touch us, stand up. This is like something that my Apple Watch tells me every hour. Group economics? Unfortunately, this one was specifically made for Spencer Dinwiddie, who will not be playing in the bubble along with all the other Nets. Anyway, who's wearing what? Now, I wanna bring your attention to Mo Wagner vote. This is a federal crime, is it not? Mo Wagner, a, a citizen of Germany? Do group economics because somebody has to do it. Welcome to the bubble! We got PPE! Anyway, the bub grub is leaving stuff to be desired. Here is Troy Daniels Instagramming a portion of his meal. Now, I'm not a millionaire and I would eat this 100%. That said, yeah, this looks like shit. <laughs> All right, this looks bad. Isaiah Thomas tweeted. No way Bron eating this. LeBron James 100% is either teaching JaVale McGee how to cook or they are like getting rid of one of their assistant coaches and are just bringing like David Chang in instead of an assistant coach. So the NBA bubble is what it is. The WNBA bubble, folks. So this is the laundry room in the WNBA bubble. So I'm just gonna go through this like the Zapruder film. So, okay, dirty floor. There's just a drain in the ground, random wood covering an air conditioner. That can only mean that like bugs and things are crawling in from the outside, right? And now at the top, this is the truly disturbing thing. A mousetrap, a Victor mousetrap that has been sprung also. Like just kind of hanging. First of all, how is a rat or a mouse supposed to run into this? Two, the fact that you have mice above ground, like they're at head level, they can, now it's 360 degree mouse infestation at this point. That's fucked, folks. Fix it. And now, Ringer Fact Checker, extraordinaire, Lakers fan, extraordinaire, Jordan Liggins. What are your thoughts on what we're seeing coming out of this bubble? I have a lot of thoughts. One, we've seen some footage of a laundry room. The mouse trap on the wall really disturbed me, Jordan. Oh my God. I think ESPN reported that those players that have voiced concerned have already been relocated. They tried it though, didn't they? They really they, tried. They tried it though. <laughs> and everybody is quarantined and upset at freaking Kelly Loeffler. Well, Kelly Loeffler should probably be charged with insider trading. Um, and then she is a co-owner of the Atlanta Dream, person who does not in any way support Black Lives Matter, or more to the point, doesn't support her players' right to express themselves on those issues. Pretty fucking shitty. Get her out of there. She has no place in this league, a league that's progressive, 
all about equality, um, inclusivity. She has no place in here. And also, you own a team called the Atlanta Dream, which okay. is based <laughs> off of Atlanta native Martin yeah. Luther King Jr. His <laughs> yeah. I Have a Dream speech. So you actually have no place here at all. When you're making money off of black people and you so clearly don't care about their welfare, that can and should be called out. And it's like a really brave thing we're seeing from the players. Uh, Jordan, thank you very much. <laughs> no problem. Thanks for talking about the WNBA. Family album. Here is Rick Buecher on Moose and Maggie. I would expect that uh, in the next week or so, we'll get an announcement that Tom Thibodeau is going to be the, the next head coach of the New York Knicks. That's unfortunate. It's always the formula for a sports radio talk show is always a nickname and then the real name. So it'll be like Frankie and Taint, Jim and the Nips. Welcome to Jim and the Nips. Yeah, Nips, uh, got to, I want to talk about uh, Tom Thibodeau. Uh, yeah, I like this guy. He looks like a walrus. He looks like a penguin. He loves defense. You got to have him. I'll take my answer off the end. Thank you, man. Faye Blocks. So here's a story that blew up on Twitter recently. Magic Johnson admits that he has someone else sends his tweet from, as transcribed by a literally with Rob Lowe. Do you know, pardon my take, I did their podcast. I'm going to be, I'm, I'm trying to do Rob Lowe. I'm going to be interviewing Magic. He's going to be one of my first guests. Do you have any questions? And they're like, you have to ask him, does he write his own tweet? Why are they obsessed with your tweets? Magic Johnson, I don't know. No, I have somebody write them out. I tell them what I want to say and then they write them. People went crazy about this because it seemed at the time from the headline that Magic does not write his tweets and that there's just some like Magic translator whose job is to like glean from the darkest, most innermost places of Magic Johnson's heart, take those urges and then give them voice. But no, Magic's just like, hey, tweet this thing and then somebody does it. It's not a big deal, folks. Magic is still writing the tweets, which again, I love. Ah, the summer of learning. Hey, remember when Last Dance was on roughly 500 years ago? Well, Terry Rozier quoted as saying, I didn't even know they won three straight championships. I'm just being honest. To do things like that, you have to be super special. <sighs> I hope people are not shitting on Terry Rozier. Here's what this tells me. Terry Rozier was so focused on his shit that he didn't have time to like look up other shit that occurred. Why is he gonna look up at Michael Jordan who played three million years ago and find out what, what he did? He's too busy hooping. You really don't think Terry Rozier who played for the Hornets? Why would he know that? No. I don't know. I just like- Michael plays. Jordan retired a million years ago. Why should he know that? He knows Michael Jordan's good. He doesn't have to know the details. That's fine. I support Terry Rozier not knowing anything about Michael Jordan. And I hope he knows less. I hope he forgets some stuff that he learned. Um, I don't think you faved or blocked anything in this episode. <laughs> okay, I fave everything. Hold on, Ghost Rider, I fave it. <laughs> T uh, Terry Rozier, I fave him not knowing about MJ. Let's get Carol Baskin in on us. So Carol Baskin on Cameo. Carol Baskin at Big Cat Rescue. And hey. Owl. hey, all you cool kittens and cats. It's Carol Baskin. Murdered my ex-husband. Buried him somewhere on the grounds and uh, fed part of his corpse to my cats. Our guy Zion is turning 20 years old. Oh. Just wanted to wish Zion Williamson a happy birthday. It's me, uh, unjailed alleged murderer Carol Baskin. This is a weird thing, don't you think? To be like, let's get the person accused of murder to wish us a happy birthday. If somebody got me this, I'd be sick. I fave it. Oh!